Hey guys, so this is my second take. My first take was me being very angry about it because he, Yuya Watanabe, instead of admitting the truth, has tripled down. And now he has offered a subtle explanation as to why he was playing Mark cards, which he didn't notice. This explanation has been verified by the judge and jury that is his sponsor. I don't know if we should take very much from it, but it does give you a, a look into someone who cheated. The reason that I'm going to be very harsh on Yuya Watanabe is I grew up with Saito. No one could beat Saito. He was a Japanese magic player, a very good magic player, and he had a certain trick which he would claim his opponent was cheating, and this would disqualify his opponent when really he was cheating. He did this trick a hundred plus times to the point that he did it at the highest level. For you to have confidence to do it in front of multiple judges, in front of a very professional opponent at the time, and the cameras and videos at the pro tour level, you must have practiced that cheat a thousand times in private and maybe a hundred few, a hundred times in actual games. The Saito cheat was acknowledged as something that a lot of people in Asia did at the time up to 5 to 10% of all Asian games in Mag of Magic Gathering ended up with somebody doing a Saito cheat. It was maximizing your expected value because if you got caught cheating, you would just get a warning. But if the opponent sort of cheat, cheat involved you shuffling your deck for no reason, you handle, handing it to your opponent, your opponent cuts it out of confusion or touches the deck, it doesn't matter. As soon as the deck is at your opponent, even if he doesn't, even, even if he does not touch it, it's on his playmat or it's his side of the board. That looks very strange. Then you call a judge. The judge looks at it and says, okay, what are you doing? At this point, the opponent will, 90% of the opponents will be like, oh, he fetched or he, there's so many magic cards that allow you to cheat because you're always shuffling, quote, shuffling your deck, right? And then you look at the board state and hey, there was no card that was played like that. Oh, I guess it was a mistake. So this ended up in Saito becoming the greatest Japanese Magic Gathering hit player in history. And the only reason he's not in the Pro Tour, although many people are the Pro Tour Hall of Fame, although many people want him to be, is the fact that he cheated. He got caught one time cheating like this. But like I said, when you get caught once, it's not likely that was the first time you cheated. So his sponsor conducted a hearing and they came up with the most they I got really mad in my previous video and I said some really bad things. Uh, but I'm going to summarize it like this. You would have to be a dumb dumb to believe this. Because there's a lot of people watching, there's cameras everywhere. His argument comes down to in between rounds, during the second deck check, which I will explain later why there was two, a judge must have changed his sleeves. So there's no question he was playing with Mark's sleeves. He doesn't question that. His sponsor doesn't question that. There's no questioning that he was playing with Mark's sleeves. Now, how did that happen? Round 9 to 11, limited rounds. The sleeves in question were not yet in use. Round 12, feature match, no random deck check. The match resulted in a loss. Yuya decided to change his sleeves due to the condition of the sleeves and to shake off his feelings from the loss. He traded his sleeves in for new ones. Round 14, random deck check at the beginning of the round. Yuya was told his deck was okay by the judge. Round 15, feature match. After the match, Yuya was asked to show his sleeves by a judge. After around one minute of inspection, the judge returned his deck. The reason they're always checking this guy's deck is by round 14, they realize something is up, right? Even though they did, did not disqualify him round 14, they baited him and he fell straight for the bait. He checked his deck, said it was okay. Round 15, he checked his deck, said it was okay. That does not mean the deck was okay. It just means that they want to see how he's using the cards. Clearly, he was cheating using the mark cards. They wanted to see it in action, which is exactly what happened. So, even if you caught him round 14, you're not going to DQ him. 
you want to collect as much evidence as you can. Now, round 16, that's the, that's the good round. That's the round that you have to look at. After drawing, agreeing to draw with his opponent, Yuya was chatting with his friends in the tournament for about 20 minutes when a judge came up to him and told him he would need to go through another deck check. Roughly 15 minutes after handing the deck over to the judge, he was called behind the judge station. They explained the situation to him and delivered disqualification judgment. So the reason they checked the deck round 16 was because he drew. They couldn't see any more action. So the way that it's being presented by Yuya and his sponsor is that, oh, the deck was fine 14 and 15 and 16 something happened to it. My argument would be, no, they're checking your deck every single round. They haven't done that the entire time. You've been acting and behaving very poorly. You've been marking your cards. You've been flapping them. I don't know what you've been doing, but you've been marking that. And then this argument of New Year's victory in round 14, it was clear from the ranking information that he almost, cer almost certain to enter the top 8. Although he went on to lose in round 15, by drawing in round 16, his record was good enough to guarantee him a spot in the top 8. Because that's when he did math. But it's a lot more complicated in round 13. When he changes his sleeve, he lost. So his he still needs to win one. He still needs to win one, at least one out of the next three games to draw. Maybe he doesn't do that. Cheaters cheat even when they're winning. That's like, this is the worst argument I've ever seen made by a cheater. In hindsight, they would have won anyway. That doesn't mean that you didn't cheat, right? A winner can cheat to increase their odds of winning. After IDing, Yu was chatting with his friend in the tournament hall for about 20 minutes. Had he committed any wrongdoing, this would be the perfect time to dispose of any evidence. Although this reasoning isn't concrete proof. So you don't get it. Yuya is assuming even if he was cheating, they would let him go. This is an insane assumption that Saito also made in front of many judges. Many judges, he used his famous Saito technique. And somebody said, wait, what are you doing? We saw what you did. Now, see, whenever he has a match, he plays. So they're saying that brand new sleeves. He's playing with, I mean, imagine if these were brand new sleeves that he was playing for two rounds. What were the sleeves he was playing for the first 12 rounds look like? It doesn't make any sense, right? So he had to win. Actually, now it's not. He had to win 13. He had to win two matches and then draw into the last match. It is beyond me why they would continue to quadruple down. So it's like, oh, no, honey, I bet my mortgage on the casino. I lost. Well, why don't we take a second mortgage? Oh, we lost again. Why don't we mortgage, why don't we take two more mortgages and then let's quadruple down our bet? And he's going to lose. And I'm very glad this is happening because the only case where he would be innocent is if a judge in front of other judges, I'm assuming that deck checks are not done by one judge that holds your deck. I'm assuming it's you know done by a lot of people who are witnessing a lot of very people who are passionate about magic at that level. For them to call out Yuya Watanabe, it's the same as calling out Saito back then. It's a tough decision. They need proof. They're going to burn this guy's reputation. They need to see how he acts and behaves. Those two rounds, I would tell you, they probably knew the deck was marked and they let him play out. Otherwise, they don't check his deck again. They checked his deck three times in three rounds. One time being when he drew. And they went up to him, which I think is very atypical. And because they knew that the deck, at that point in time, they knew the deck was marked. That's, they already knew it. And they realized, oh, he drew. We can't see any more information. Let's figure out what to do. It takes time to figure these things out. 
if he were a player that intending to cheat, wouldn't he attempt to place his deck in such a way that the opposing player wouldn't be able to see any of his illegal markings? By the time round 11 of day 2 had concluded, Yuya had an outstanding record and as such he was expected to be chosen multiple times for feature matches. These matches are broadcast worldwide and create a lasting record, utterly unreasonable conditions for anyone to consider cheating. Furthermore, due to image quality issues with the available match footage, it's impossible to confirm if his sleeves were marked. You don't think Yuya had practices at home with a camera with the same streaming services? He knows the cards cannot be seen on the camera quality, which is exactly what you're saying. So what they're doing is they're using two arguments that contradict each other to support Yuya, when in fact, they contradict each other. So they're saying, why would Yuya cheat in front of the camera? To that, I would argue, why did Alex cheat? Why did Jared Bocelli? Why do all these people cheat in front of the camera when they sign something knowing that they are going to be in front of a camera? The reason is because they're arrogant. They don't think they're going to get caught. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it. Alex, for instance, got caught multiple times. You would think after like once or twice or eight times, they would be like, nah, maybe I should cheat like off camera. But he didn't do that. Now, the last argument is, I think, the most condemning. Yuya is a player that has never once incurred a penalty due to cheating across his long career. Incurred a penalty is different from cheating. He's a model player that had forged his reputation with both time and accomplishments. But did he get these because of cheating? He gained the support of many MTG fans worldwide and was introduced to Magic Hall of Fame in 2016 with a ballot of over 90%. When someone gets caught cheating, right, don't they just list like a bunch of nonsense that like, this house is relevant to this cheat? Because he's a good guy, because Bernie Madoff is such a nice guy, and I've known him for 25 years, and I've told my friends and families to invest in him, there was no pyramid scheme. Because Alex is such a nice guy, and I've played him many times, and I've never personally caught him cheating, he never cheated. Alex won a lot. Jared Bocelli won a lot. A lot of these people that get caught cheating... They're not scrubs, right? By definition, they're winners. Now, how did they win is a question. My conclusion is that you got to defend your own. A lot of Japanese pro players have come out to support him, including those, all of them who are sponsored by this company. Don't buy from these people. Do not buy from these people. Leave them bad reviews. This is unacceptable. This is really, truly, truly unacceptable that they would support behavior like this. And they know it. They know it. Um, they 100% they know it. They're bringing media attention so you can buy from them. You can leave good reviews. Don't do that. I think at the end of the day, I love MTG Arena because I just played a game. And I was playing Mono Red Deck, Red Deck Wins. And I had an opening hand with... Free lands and some goblins. I thought it was okay. So I mulliganed to six, so half my cards are lands. Then I drew eight lands in a row. That's variance. Even the best player magic is not going to escape that. The fact that these people, the fact that Saito has been winning, or Saito, I conf I'm confusing too. The fact that he has been winning at such a high level does not mean he's a good magic player. It just means he's a very good cheater. Anyway, bye guys.